From Bad Boy to Good Girl by Sissy Tanya. I stood in front of the mirror, staring at my reflection with a mix of confusion and embarrassment. The image staring back at me was not what I had expected to see. I was wearing a frilly pink dress, complete with a matching bow in my hair and delicate white socks with lace trim. How had I ended up in this predicament? It was a punishment I would never forget. It all started earlier that day when I made the ill-fated decision to pull a prank on my older sister, Emma. We had always been mischievous siblings, constantly trying to outdo each other in our games. This time, I thought it would be hilarious to hide her phone, knowing she would frantically search for it. I hid her phone under the sofa cushions and chuckled to myself, imagining her panicked expression as she desperately looked for it. Little did I know, she had caught wind of my plan and decided to turn the tables on me. She swiftly retrieved her phone, called our parents, and informed them of my little prank. When mom and dad arrived home, I could sense their disappointment in my actions. They had always taught us the importance of respect and consideration for others, and my prank clearly went against those principles. After a lengthy discussion, they decided that a fitting punishment was in order, something that would help me understand the impact of my actions. That's when my punishment was revealed to me, I would have to wear girls' clothes for the remainder of the day. They explained that this was not meant to demean girls but rather to teach me a lesson about empathy and the consequences of my actions. Reluctantly, I agreed to accept the punishment, hoping that it wouldn't be as embarrassing as it sounded. However, as I stood there in the frilly pink dress, I couldn't help but feel a flush of embarrassment creeping up my neck. The soft fabric rustled against my skin, and the bow in my hair seemed to mock me. I couldn't shake off the feeling of being exposed, as if the entire world could see my predicament. Walking downstairs to join my family for dinner, I braced myself for the inevitable laughter and teasing. To my surprise, they greeted me with understanding and compassion. Emma, who had been the victim of my prank, smiled at me and assured me that it was just a temporary situation. My parents echoed her sentiments, reminding me that it was all part of the learning experience. Days turned into weeks, and the memory of wearing that frilly pink dress began to fade into the background of my life. However, little did I know that the universe had a different plan in store for me. It seemed that fate had conspired to bring me face to face with girls' clothing once again. It all started with a school play. Our drama teacher had decided to put on a production of Romeo and Juliet, and auditions were underway. To my surprise, I was cast as Juliet, the iconic female lead. At first, I couldn't believe it. I had never acted before, and the thought of portraying a female character seemed daunting. As rehearsals began, I found myself immersed in the world of theater, diving headfirst into the script, character development, and the art of performance. The more I delved into the role, the more I realized that I needed to embrace it fully. And that meant wearing girls' clothes on stage. I remember the first time I slipped into the flowing, elegant gown that was to be Juliet's costume. The soft fabric caressed my skin, and as I looked at myself in the mirror, I felt a strange sense of liberation. It was as if I had discovered a hidden side of myself, one that was not confined by societal norms or expectations. As the play progressed, I became more comfortable in my role. The costume became an extension of my character, allowing me to fully embody the emotions and experiences of Juliet. I started to appreciate the artistry and craftsmanship that went into creating girls' clothing, the way it could convey grace, strength, and vulnerability all at once. Outside of the stage, my perspective began to shift. I realized that clothing should not be limited by gender. It was merely an expression of personal style and individuality. I began to question why society placed such rigid expectations on what boys and girls should wear. Inspired by this newfound understanding, I started to explore fashion in a way I hadn't before. I experimented with different styles, embracing garments traditionally associated with girls. Skirts, blouses, and accessories became part of my everyday wardrobe. It was a statement of self-acceptance and an expression of my evolving identity. Of course, not everyone understood or accepted my choices. I faced criticism and judgment from some of my peers, who clung to societal norms and conformity. But I remained resolute in my belief that clothing had no gender and that self-expression should be celebrated rather than stifled. 
As time went on, my wardrobe became a symbol of my journey. It represented my growth, self-discovery, and the breaking down of barriers. As I embarked on my journey of self-expression, embracing girls' clothes as a boy, little did I know that someone special would enter my life. Her name was Lily, a vibrant and confident girl with an infectious smile. We had known each other for years, but it wasn't until my newfound fashion exploration that our paths began to intertwine in unexpected ways. Lily had always been supportive of my choices, never questioning or judging my preference for girls' clothing. In fact, she found it fascinating and inspiring. One day, as we sat together in the school courtyard during lunch break, she approached me with a mischievous grin. Hey, I've been thinking, Lily said, her eyes gleaming with excitement. Why don't we go shopping together? I want to help you explore different styles and find the perfect outfits that make you feel amazing. I was taken aback by her suggestion but couldn't help feeling a surge of curiosity and anticipation. Lily had an eye for fashion and a keen sense of style, and I couldn't think of a better person to accompany me on this adventure. So, without hesitation, I agreed, and we set a date for our shopping excursion. On the designated day, we met at the local mall, our spirits high and hearts open to new possibilities. Lily guided me through various stores, each one showcasing a unique array of clothing and accessories. She encouraged me to explore different textures, patterns, and colors, all while emphasizing the importance of comfort and self-expression. Together, we dove into the racks, pulling out clothes that caught our eye and trying them on with unabashed enthusiasm. Lily's infectious energy and genuine support made the entire experience feel like an exhilarating journey of self-discovery. As we twirled in front of the fitting room mirrors, laughter filled the air. Lily's encouraging words boosted my confidence, affirming that the clothes I chose were a reflection of my true self. She appreciated the way I challenged societal norms and saw the beauty in my journey of self-expression. With each shopping trip, our bond grew stronger. Lily became not only my fashion companion but also a trusted friend who celebrated my uniqueness. We would spend hours discussing the latest trends, sharing fashion tips, and even exchanging clothes from time to time. Our friendship blossomed beyond the realm of clothing, intertwining with shared dreams, aspirations, and a mutual understanding of the importance of authenticity. As time went on, Lily's feelings for me began to deepen, and she finally mustered the courage to express her affection. It was during one of our late-night conversations, beneath a sky adorned with twinkling stars. You know, Lily whispered, her voice laced with vulnerability, your willingness to embrace who you truly are, regardless of what others think, has captivated my heart. You inspire me every day, and I've realized that I've fallen for you, not just as a friend but as something more. Her words hung in the air, shimmering with hope and nervous anticipation. My heart fluttered, and a smile danced on my lips. It was in that moment that I realized the depth of my feelings for Lily as well. She had been there for me, supporting me unconditionally, and I had grown to cherish our connection. As Lily and I delved deeper into our relationship, I discovered a newfound passion within me. Encouraged by Lily's unwavering support, I decided to explore my interest in cheerleading, a realm traditionally associated with girls but one that held immense appeal for me. I approached the cheerleading coach, Mrs. Anderson, expressing my desire to be part of the team. Initially, she seemed taken aback, uncertain about breaking the norm. However, after witnessing my dedication, enthusiasm, and commitment, she recognized my genuine passion and allowed me to join the squad. With my teammates by my side, I began the exhilarating journey of learning cheerleading routines, perfecting stunts, and fostering an unbreakable bond within our cheerleader group. They embraced me wholeheartedly, accepting me as one of their own, regardless of the clothes I wore or the stereotypes I challenged. Together, we practiced tirelessly, honing our skills, and showcasing our spirit and talent at numerous school events. The thrill of performing in front of the roaring crowd was unlike anything I had ever experienced. The vibrant energy, the synchronized movements, and the unity of our team ignited a fire within me. Through cheerleading, I discovered the power of teamwork, discipline, and the importance of uplifting others. We cheered not only for the football team but for the entire school, spreading positivity and encouragement throughout our community. 
And in doing so, I found myself flourishing as a member of this diverse and supportive group. As I immersed myself further in the world of cheerleading, I realized that my journey extended beyond the confines of clothing. It was about breaking down stereotypes, challenging preconceived notions, and creating a space where everyone could embrace their passions unapologetically. The cheerleader uniform became a symbol of our collective spirit, a representation of unity, strength, and unwavering support. And as I donned that uniform, I stood tall, proud of who I had become, and proud to be part of a team that embraced diversity and celebrated individuality. As the seasons changed and my time as a cheerleader drew to a close, I reflected on the profound impact it had on my life. The friendships forged, the lessons learned, and the personal growth I had experienced were invaluable. I carried those memories and lessons with me, forever grateful for the opportunity to be part of something bigger than myself. Beyond cheerleading, Lily and I continued to nurture our relationship, supporting and inspiring each other to reach new heights. Our shared experiences, passions, and unwavering love only deepened our bond, creating a foundation built on acceptance, understanding, and mutual growth. As the school year approached its end, our cheerleading team was invited to a grand end-of-year party. Excitement filled the air as we prepared for the event. Our team decided to attend the party in our cheerleader uniforms, a symbol of our unity and spirit. The venue buzzed with music, laughter, and a vibrant energy. Lily and I stepped into the party, our cheerleading pom-poms in hand, ready to spread joy and cheer to those around us. As we made our way through the crowd, our eyes met a group of boys who seemed intrigued by our presence. Among them was a boy named Fred, his eyes filled with curiosity and admiration. He approached us with a friendly smile, drawn to our vibrant cheerleader outfits. Hey there, Fred greeted us. You both look incredible, what's the occasion? Lily and I shared a quick glance before responding, we're cheerleaders, part of the school cheerleading team. We're here to celebrate and spread some cheer. Fred's eyes lit up, and he chuckled. That's fantastic. You definitely caught everyone's attention. Mind if I join you? We welcomed Fred into our cheerleading circle, his genuine enthusiasm adding to the vibrant atmosphere of the party. As the night went on, we laughed, danced, and shared stories. Fred's genuine interest in getting to know us beyond the uniforms was refreshing, and we found ourselves drawn to his charisma and kind-hearted nature. As the music filled the air with an infectious rhythm, Fred asked me to dance. I hesitated for a moment, wondering if my choice of clothing would be an obstacle. However, Fred's understanding gaze reassured me, erasing any lingering self-doubt. We swayed to the beat, our movements synchronized, and a connection began to form. Over the course of the evening, Fred and I discovered shared interests, dreams, and aspirations. His presence felt like a breath of fresh air, a person who appreciated me for who I truly was, without judgment or expectations. And as we talked and laughed, it became clear that something special was blossoming between us. As the night drew to a close, Fred expressed his genuine admiration for my courage in embracing my individuality and breaking down societal barriers. His words touched my heart, reaffirming the importance of authenticity and the power of self-acceptance. In the days that followed, Fred and I continued to spend time together, exploring our shared passions and supporting each other's dreams. He embraced my journey of self-expression, celebrating the uniqueness that made me who I was. And in turn, I cherished his warmth, kindness and unwavering support. Together, Fred and I became a beacon of acceptance and love, breaking free from societal expectations and embracing the beauty of our authentic selves. Our relationship became a testament to the power of genuine connections, built on a foundation of understanding, respect, and the belief that love knows no boundaries. As we walked hand in hand, our cheerleader uniforms a symbol of our shared journey, I realized that the party where we first met had not only brought Fred into my life but had also solidified my belief that true connections are formed when we embrace our true selves without fear or judgment. And so, as we ventured forth, Fred and I continued to navigate life together, facing challenges, celebrating triumphs, and cherishing the love and acceptance we found in each other. Our journey was a testament to the beauty of being unapologetically ourselves, and together, we inspired others to embrace their own authentic paths, 
knowing that the greatest connections are born when we dare to be true to ourselves. The End If you liked my story then please follow me at Sissitania18.